Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up registration and login pages for your WordPress website using a plugin called Ultimate Member. So let's get started. So here's my WordPress website and this is how it looks and I'm using this theme called Astra. So this is a new local website that I created and I'm using this uh, app called Local by Flywheel for hosting this website locally. So you can just go ahead and download this uh, software and click on this add local site button and then go ahead and create a new WordPress site. Now here we can see in the dashboard if you go to users here we can see that we have this admin and uh, it has a role of administrator. Now you can go ahead and add a new user by clicking on this add new user button. But this button is only accessible to someone who has access to the dashboard of your website. Now if someone wants to create a new account on your website, then they don't have any option over here on the front end. So for that we're going to use a plugin called ultimate member and it will create some pages so that we can let the user create a new account. So for that, let's go over here to plugins and let's click on add new plugin. And here let's go ahead and search for ultimate member. And here we can see we have this plugin called ultimate member. So it has more than 200,000 active installations. So let's click on install now. Now once it is installed, you can just click on activate. Now here we can see that the plugin has been installed and activated. Now here at the top it says that ultimate member needs to create several pages. So it creates these pages. So we have account, registration, login and all these pages over here. Now you can go ahead and click on this create pages button and it will create all these pages for you. So let's click on create pages. And here we can see all the pages are created and they are assigned to the correct options over here. So here user page is user and we have login page, register page and so on. And if you go over here to pages. Here we can see that the new pages have been created. So we have all these pages created by ultimate member. So now let's go back to ultimate member. And now here we can see it says we have one user and uh, we have the user displayed over here. Now let's go back to our website and reload this page. And here we can see that all these uh, pages are displayed over here in the navigation menu. Now we want to display just a couple of these uh, options. Now we don't want to display all these pages over here. We don't want to display the register and login pages when we are already logged in. So let's go back to our dashboard and uh, let's go over here to appearance and let's click on menus. And let's create a new menu. So I'll just name it top menu. And let's click on create menu. Right now let's go ahead and add some of these options over here. So let's click on password reset, logout, register and login and uh, let's click on add to menu and all these options are added over here so let's click on save menu and uh, let's go back to the theme customization page so let's click on customize and uh, here in menus let's click on view all locations and here for the primary menu let's select top menu and now we can see that the selected pages are displayed over here in the menu so let's click on publish and let's go back and let's go over here to menus and let's go ahead and add some conditions over here. So when we are logged in, we don't want to display the register and login pages. So let's go over here and uh, let's click on this register menu. And here in ultimate member menu settings, let's go ahead and change this to logged out users. And let's do the same for login. So here also let's change this to logged out users. So only the logged out users will see the login and register pages. So let's click on save menu. And now if you go over here and reload this page. Now we can see that it says password reset and logout. Right now let's go ahead and add these two inside a main menu. So let's create a custom link. And for the URL I'll just type hash. And let's click on add to menu. And here for the text, let's change this to account. This will be visible to only the logged in users. And uh, let's click on save menu. And let's go ahead and add this password reset and logout into this account. 
So I'll just drag it over here to the right side. And let's add one more page over here. So we will add the account page. So let's click on account and add to menu. And let's add it over here. I'll just bring it to the top. And let's go ahead and select all of these and uh, let's change this to logged in users. So only the logged in users will be able to access this menu item. Let's do the same for password reset. So let's change this to logged in users. And let's do the same for logout. And uh, now let's go ahead and click on save menu. And now if you go back and reload this page. Now we can see that it says account and if I hover over this we have account, password reset and logout. So let's click on account. I'll just change this to dashboard. So now we can see we have dashboard and password reset and logout. And here in the account we have username, first name, last name and the email ID. And here we have the option of changing the password. And then we have some privacy options so you can change the privacy of your account and uh, you have all these options of indexing the profile by search engines and all these things over here you can also download the data of your account and you can also erase the data of your account so you can do all of this and you also have the option of deleting your account so you can just enter the password and click on delete account right now let's go ahead and see how it will look on a logged out user so I'll just open this in a new incognito window. Right here I have opened the website in an incognito window and here we have these two options register and login. So if you click on login we have the option to login and if you enter a wrong password and username it will give us this error. So let's go ahead and click on register and let's create a new user. So I'll just give it a username of John. And let's add some first name and last name. And let's add an email ID. So I'll just name it john at email.com. And you can add a password. So I'll just add some password. And let's click on register. And now we can see that John has been registered. And here we have all the details. So now we have account displayed over here. And if I go over here to dashboard, we have all the options that we saw earlier. And then you can log out by clicking on this log out button. And let's click on login and let's tap John and let's add the password. And now we can see that we are logged in back again. And then we also have the option of resetting the password. So you can add your email ID and you'll get a password reset link and you'll be able to reset your password. Right now let's go back to our dashboard and let's click on ultimate member. And here we can see there are two users. And if I click on this, we have John and uh, we have admin over here. So this is how you can basically give access to register and login to an end user. And if you go back to ultimate member and if you go to settings, here we have all these different settings. So if you go here to users, here are a lot of different things you can change. So we can decide how the name should be displayed and uh, all these options over here. You can go ahead and check all these out. And here we can see we have the message that will be sent when someone deletes their account and you can customize all of this. So now let's go to access and here you can limit the access to only logged in users for the whole site. This will be the message that will be displayed when a user that is not logged in visits the site. Now if we go to email here we can see that we can set up emails for different actions. So you can go ahead and change the settings over here. So if you click on settings, you can enable or disable this. So go ahead and make changes according to your needs. And then if you go to appearance, here we have some options of changing the look and feel of your pages. So here we have the profile page, the profile menu, and uh, the registration form. So you can change all of these uh, options over here and the login form. Right now on the left side, we have forms. So if I click on forms, we have these different forms. So we have registration form, login form and the profile page. So if I click on, for example, edit on registration, here we have the option of making changes to the form. So right now it requires username, first name, last name, email address and password. You can click on plus and add new fields over here. So you can select any of these fields and add the details over here. So here we can add the title, 
the tooltip, the placeholder, the label and all these things over here. And uh, if you want to make changes to this existing fields, you can do that as well. So you can click on edit. And here we have all these options. So you can go ahead and also choose an icon. And uh, let's search for user. And you can select an icon and click on finish. And now if you click on update, we can see that the icon is being displayed over here. So in this way, you can customize your forms. Now if you go to user roles, here we can see we have different user roles. So by default, the user will be created as a subscriber. That's basically it with the registration and login forms. Now let's go ahead and create a restricted page. So let's go over here to pages and let's create a new page. And uh, here I'll just type this is a restricted page. And here let's add some text. So if you see this message, then you have access to this page. Now here we can see at the bottom we have ultimate member content restriction and you can click on this checkbox and uh, we can give access to specific people. So right now it is set to everyone. So you can just change this to logged in users and you can also select the roles over here. I'll just keep it as it is. And then you can show the restricted message over here or you can also redirect to a different page. So I'll just set it back to restricted message and let's go ahead and click on publish. And now let's open this page and now we can see that the message is being displayed. So we have access to this page. Now let's open this page in an incognito window. Right here I have opened the page in an incognito window and here we can see it says register and login. And now we can see that the content is not being displayed. It says restricted content. But here when we are logged in, we have the content displayed. So that's how you can create restricted pages using ultimate member. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.